when you look at the impact that you have on, on those kids, it's just something that is beyond imagination. It is extremely satisfying. Ear reconstruction addresses a wide spectrum of congenital ear differences that could range from a fully formed ear that is deformed in shape to a complete congenital absence of the external ear. For an ear deformity, that is a very specialized field that needs to be treated uh, by true experts that have the skill and the patience to surgically treat that patient. We have different treatment modalities from something that is non-surgical, such as molding the external ear, to surgical treatment, which involves reconstructing an entire external ear. A technique which is a more modern way of ear reconstruction using an implant. The first step is to make sure that we understand the shape of the ear, the width, the length, and the full dimensions of that ear to help us construct an ear on the abnormal side that matches the normal side. We use a porous polyethylene implant, and that porous polyethylene implant that allows permeation of fluid and tissue through it. The implant is covered with a very thin tissue that is taken from underneath the scalp and the whole construct is, is covered with a skin graft that is taken from other parts of the body. It's a one-stage surgery. It is performed in an outpatient setting. One of the beautiful things that we have at Mayo Clinic that we have all the providers in one place. So the communication is very easy and the care coordination is streamlined and ensures optimal care for these patients. There are very few centers around the country and around the world that have expertise in treating that, uh, that group of patients. The most important thing about this technique, which I find it the most attractive, that the surgery could be done in young kids uh, around the age of three. So kids don't have to suffer with living with an absent ear during the early years of childhood.